Hello and welcome to another screencast video on ITExpertVoice.com. This is David Strom and today's video will show you what is involved with Windows 7 Remote Server Administration Tools or RSAT. They make it easier to manage your collection of Windows 2003 and 2008 servers remotely and securely from your Win7 desktop. First you need to download the tools from Microsoft's TechNet website, 32 and 64-bit versions to match your Win7 OS as you can see here. RSAT can only be installed on computers that are running the Professional Enterprise or Ultimate editions of Windows 7. Once it's installed, you have to enable the features. Go to Control Panel, click Programs, Programs and Features, turn on Windows Features, and scroll through the rather lengthy dialog box that you see here to turn things on. Next, you need to go through a similar process to enable the RSAT features on your Windows 2003 and 2008 servers that you want to manage. Finally, you have to add the Microsoft Management Console snap-ins for the particular features on your Win7 desktop. You bring up the MMC, then go to File, Add, Snap-in, and configure each one, as you see here. When all is said and done, you can control some of the most sophisticated operations of your server from your Win7 desktop, such as adding clustering servers, managing Hyper-V virtual hypervisor services. For example, here we're looking at the shares on our Windows server and we can click on the shares button on the right and add new shares or right click on our existing shares to terminate them. Some caveats. Setting up all the various remote server control points isn't simple and you'll need to read the help file that comes with RSAT as well as enable key management services as you can see here for the firewall service. Another example, if you want to manage an IIS v7 server that comes with server 08, you'll need to install some other services on the server first because the snap-in that comes with RSAT is running version 6 for some strange reason. And to really remotely control a Windows server with a server manager plugin, you're going to spend some time understanding the WinRM command syntax and registry values before you can get it working properly. Thanks for watching our screencast. You can see more of them on our site, itexpertvoice.com dot com